Hey, what's up guys? Seb from FX Cartel. So I'm here in this video to talk about uh, a topic you've covered with, uh, with Q lately, and it's trading accounts, small account versus big account. So Q approached me a couple of days ago and asked my view on this subject because uh, he knows that I've been going through the process myself. So I've been trading the currency market for almost 10 years now. And like I said, I've, I've gone from uh, trading small account to trading big and pretty much did all the mistake uh, you can do. And I like to call myself now a successful trader. So I'm here to give you my view on, on what it takes to trade small and what it takes to trade big and the main advantage and convenience uh, from, from both, basically. So uh, when it comes to trading a small account, I think the main, main thing for uh, most of us is that it is not a choice. So training account size, usually when you, you, when you start your journey, uh, we trade small because we don't really have a choice. Well, for me, it's a bit different because 10 years ago, we didn't really have a choice to trade small. Now it's a slightly different because there is a lot of prop firm that allow you to trade uh, with, a, with a pretty uh, decent capital. But uh, most of us don't really have a choice. So, because we don't have a choice, and obviously we're in this game to make money, that's, that's no secret, it's all bullshit to say we're here for the freedom, or we're here just, you know, for various reasons. Uh, the main, main thing is we want to make money. And so when you trade small and you want to make money, these don't work, uh, they don't work along very well. So trading small and making big money involve trading with bigger risk. So when it comes to trading small and wanting to make money, for example, you want to trade with a thousand dollar account. So when it comes to trading small with a small account, we don't really have a choice than to be aggressive. So I think the main difference between trading a small and trading big is uh, the aggressivity uh, of your trading. So for example, me, when I was uh, trading small account, day trading, and now that I've got a bigger account, I have stepped away from day trading and I'm more of a swing trading uh, nature. I'm not so uh, much of a swing trader myself. I think I'm more of a hybrid between day trading and swing trading, but I think I take uh, the best of both worlds. But when it comes to uh, trading small, I think you don't really have a choice than to uh, day trade in order to achieve a longer term uh, gain. I think that's the way I see it anyway, because swing trade will make the um, gain process a lot longer and therefore not so interesting for us. But that, that, that leads us to one of the main skills that you acquire trading small. And one of the main one is you acquire patience. And patience is for me, the if there is one skill that any trader should master, is being patient, waiting for the best setup and waiting for the best uh, play. And that is taught a lot faster with trading small because you will realize that being over aggressive, you will lose your account rather fast and therefore it will teach you lessons that will make patience being one of the first skills that a trader will, uh, will acquire. So when it comes to trading small, like I said, we have to be a lot more aggressive, which we are not when we trade big. So that's not something necessarily uh, wrong. It's because most of us don't have a choice. But the issue is when people start in this game, they are often uneducated and therefore there are risks associated with the uh, nature of the small account which is to be aggressive often leads to uh, catastrophes and most most people lose their account so patience is one skill that you acquire and risk management is another one but the risk management when you trade small has to be off the chart so your risk nature is um, a lot more um, aggressive when you trade small because like i said if you trade a thousand dollar and you're looking for the safe approach for example if you are adopting the uh, risk nature i have got now trading big you'd be looking at anything between 10 percent to 50 percent uh, 
return on investment a year and with the thousand dollars that will be 100 to 500 dollars which is let's face it useless so i don't i personally don't want to spend a year trading to make 500 bucks that makes no sense to me so you rather you'd be better uh, uh, working for a, a shitty job and i would pay uh, more so we are not in this game to make 500 dollars and therefore it leads us to be a lot more aggressive so trading a small account the main advantage of it is that you will learn the hard way risk management and, and patience and that is why it's a bit uh, tricky to trade with a, back, a big capital right from the start which is what these uh, prop firm um, um, kind of prey on is at my time there was no possibility to or i wasn't aware to trade with a big capital and right now it's available anywhere you know 500 bucks and you, you can jump on 100k uh, account and it's fantastic but the drawdown of this is that none of us or none of you is mentally prepared for that there is a big step to transit from a small account to a big account and i think that's the main uh, uh, reason those prop firms are making money is none of us is prepared to be risk managed to trade with a big account because if you start straight away with a big account you wouldn't have gone through the process of a small account which again teaches you uh, patience and risk management so i think the main advantage for me when you trade small is that you're going to learn them and i always advise to anybody that comes to me or on those that i've trained to spend three to six months trading a small account even though you've got the money one of the challenges i, I give them is trade a 500 buck account spend three months on it try to take only one trade a day so the best setup you find each day and at the end of the three months if you are um, most of your trades have been successful so you got a success rate for me above 60 percent which means that 60 percent of the trades you took are winner and you are profitable overall so let's say at the end of the three months you have made 50 50 bucks which sounds ridiculous i know but hear me hear me out if you have made 50 bucks, so you've made 10% return on your investment in three months, you have been with a strike rate that is above 60% and you only took one trade a day, the best setup uh, you've, uh, you, you could find, you would have learned patience and risk management. And therefore I could say, yes, you are prepared to transit from a small account to a bigger account. And I think most of us or most of the people that so I think most of the people training a small account, they haven't acquired that uh, uh, mentality yet. And I think therefore they will be stuck forever in this uh, uh, trading small mindset, which will um, stop them from ever going to make uh, big money on the long run. Because that transition is, is quite hard if you're not mentally there. I mean, you could be flipping a grand account to, I don't know, I've never seen that, but 200k for example and that 100k you would have i can guarantee you you never ever keep them you will lose them for sure you cannot be that aggressive for an extended period of time and that's what is the the lesson is for me if you trade small and you're aggressive that's okay because you don't really have a choice uh, if you are trying to achieve uh, uh, big gains as long as you know that you have to be um, patient so waiting for the best play and risk managed in a way that's fine so to sum up small account will um, I'm, i think i'm joining a, a bit uh, here on that for you to be long term successful uh, a lot more skill set than turning a big account Trading a big account in a way is, is just being a lazy bastard, you know, you just wait for the best setup, very, very, very risk managed and you just bank on it. So um, a hard part when you trade big is actually to make bigger money and I've stagnated a, a while um, a plateau uh, in, in a way for a couple of years by not making a transition from making good money to making big money. Just because of the way that uh, you will find yourself complacent and in a comfort zone at some point. 
where you're happy with the money that comes and and that's fine that's okay but i've never been one to settle for average and i like to to chase uh, a, a big uh, reward big result big things in life and that transition is hard because once you realize once you end up um, in a, um, or once, once you're funded for example i'm trying i'm losing myself i'm trying to go back to what i wanted to say but if you find yourself uh, trading a decent amount of money so if you're funded or, or whatever and you want to achieve uh, big gains i would suggest that for a while you do trade uh, very wisely so very risk managed and, and patiently and achieve steady gains once you've made steady gains and you've secured something along the way and that's something that most people forget to do well when you trade a decent amount of money or big money don't forget to secure gains along the way you know it can all go in instance on the market and you don't want to be going through the phase again because mentally if you lose um, a decent amount of money or big account mentally will crush you so losing a small account everybody can recover from that but losing a big account and i've witnessed some of my uh, 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 guys uh, losing a big chunk of money mentally it's it's tough if you recover from it you're bulletproof but not everybody can recover from it so it's best not to end up in this situation but anyway i said just trade it nicely and steady for a while for example a year you know you've got a funded account trade it well risk managed you know I personally trade the trading account I trade right now. I never, I never go above 0.5% risk for my trading account on any setup, and that makes me a, good, a lot of money still because it's a big account. So, but even though it wasn't, if it wasn't that big, I'm saying if you get 100k account, for example, if you trade 0.5%, you go on decent setup and you go for a one to two risk reward ratio, you still end up making a grand, a grand per trade. And you find i don't know 10 good setup a day i mean who doesn't like to make 10 grand a month you, you need to be uh, realistic as well because we tend to forget uh, how easy it is to make money in this game and therefore lose ourselves in the reality of well i'm actually making good money you know uh, if you're right now starting with a funded account you've managed to pass you managed to be funded and you managed to make five to ten k a month you're doing pretty well and you need to remember that so i would say do try to do pretty well for a year and then um, if you want bigger things in life which is okay then you need to go back to uh, where you were when you were trading small is being aggressive and but you need to be okay with that and i think in order to achieve that and that's why not many people achieve it you need to achieve success being aggressive with a small account stepping up slowly to a bigger account being steady again being comfortable with it first and then come back to that aggressive nature when you were trading small so my view on trading accounts uh, small versus big i think trading small requires a bit more work than a big account but the bigger account will require a, a lot more um, mindset so i think it's more of a, a technical skills to trade the small one and more of the mental skills to trade the, the, the bigger one. I know people that in order to um, keep up with their nature, they will trade big, and that's what we see now too. They will trade bigger account very safely and risk manage. But their aggressive nature will be under control because they will use their aggressive nature with a small account. So what you end up with is traders that do trade nice and steadily bigger account. They build wealth and they trade aggressively a small account to trying to make a big buck out of it but with uh, a well-defined risk in place which is worst case scenario i'm going to lose 5k or 10k a small account but if i do that i contain my aggressive nature and i do trade nice and steady uh, my my bigger account so i think that's one of the best uh, compromise you can find once you are in this situation Anyway, I hope this uh, brings you some sort of value and all the best in your trading journey.